I am Francesca Di Massimo, the owner of Spezieri Palazzo Vecchio, and I'm responsible for the brand. Designing a new perfume can take weeks of trial and error. Francesca is also trying to uncover powerful new fragrances using dozens of ingredients, from flowery notes to earthly accents. At times, she relies on her father, Giovanni, a famous pharmacist and natural herbalist who started this company decades ago, as well as some secret recipes. I'm starting a formulation of a new perfume. I want to recreate what is in my mind, what I have written down in terms of how many drops of each ingredient I would like to be in this formula, in this perfume, in this fragrance. Some common natural ingredients she might put into a new perfume include essential oils extracted from spices, flowers, leaves and woods. When you want to create perfume, you have to study all the raw materials, not all of them, but hundreds of them. And you have to memorize them, because to create a perfume, you need to imagine it in your mind. And if you haven't memorized the raw materials, you cannot imagine the result. I re-smell the raw material that I select, just to be sure that what is in my memory actually matches with what I would like to get. I have now put together the raw material for the head of the perfume, the part of the fragrance that you smell right away when you spray the perfume at the first hand. So now I have mixed these drops and I put them in a bottle where I will then have my final formula. Francesca often looks to her own experiences to find inspiration for her artful aromas. Inspiration can come from so many places. It can be nature, an emotion, a place, it can be a person. For instance, the last two perfumes that I have formulated was inspired by my relationship with my daughter. Even though most people associate France with perfume, its origins actually lie here in Tuscany. Catherine de' Medici, whose family was nobility in this region, had her own personal perfume maker. When she headed to France to marry the future king, she brought this alchemist with her and helped launch the world-famous French perfume industry. Paving the way for Catherine was Italian regent Caterina Sforza, an early scientist who wrote down many of the recipes for her favorite scents in a classic book called The Experiments. The recipes were mostly forgotten for centuries until Francesca's father, Giovanni, unearthed them. Non solo parlava dei profumi, ma addirittura è stata la, uh, la maestra dei profumieri perché ha inventato delle formule che nessuno prima faceva. Giovanni then took some of these secret scents and tried to recreate them in the modern era. He got the inspiration for our perfume from uh, the Renaissance period. Meanwhile, Francesca was off forging her own career, but she felt a calling to do something more personal. A few years ago, she joined her father in the family business and brought with her a new focus on perfume making. So now I'm going to work on the heart of the fragrance. So mixing the raw material that gives the personality to the fragrance itself. Francesca has to keep careful track of every drop she adds to the mixture. If the aroma is as fresh and bright as she hopes, she'll need to remake it step by step. And if not, she may need to start all over again. She won't know for sure for days, and sometimes weeks, as the different notes within this perfume mature and blend, slowly changing the scent. Maybe now I am satisfied with what I have created, but I have to wait one week and I will re-smell it and see if the result is still what I really would like to achieve because natural raw materials changes over time. Today, Francesca is in charge of the company, while her 80-year-old father looks on proudly from the sidelines, offering advice only when asked. Perché lei mi mi telefona sempre, però io difficilmente le do una risposta definitiva. È lei che poi trova la risposta. I 
came in this company with a, a lot of experience in how to manage a company, but always have someone that takes the decisions and you never own the bottom line. Here you own the bottom line. And so this is something that she really helped me with. Someday, Francesca hopes her own daughter will take over the business. In the meantime, she takes great pride in sharing her own signature sense with the world. Once you have the chance to choose what you want to do for working, you really can express the best of yourself. And this is also what I think people get when they buy our products. They feel that we do it with passion, we love what we do, and we always try to do our best.